girl here with vintagedazzle.etsy.com here to show you a haul from the flea market and from a uh, senior citizen um, rummage sale. And uh, I don't have a whole lot to show you, but uh, but it's not too bad. And so I am um, I'm going to do all of the jewelry first because I know some people really like to see that and then don't care about the rest of it. So, uh, so I will show you. I'm afraid I've chopped my head off. I don't know. If I have, I'm sorry. Um, I will show you the jewelry first, and then I will show you the other. And this is my flea market jewelry. I I was trying not to buy a whole lot because I have such a backlog of jewelry to list, but um, I did see this very nice mid-century bracelet on a dollar table. I think I either paid one or two dollars for that. And um, it's not signed or anything, but it's very nicely made. And I got this sterling silver brooch. This is Danecraft, probably from the uh, 1940s. It's very heavy. And um, there's the name on the back. Very nice maker to look for. Um, I paid ten dollars for that, and that's a really good price for that much silver. And this, I think I got it the same place as the bracelet, and I paid, I want to say, two dollars for it. And uh, this is H A R. I think probably this will sell for at least twenty-five. It's in very good condition. I don't think it has any stones missing, and uh, so that's nice. Uh, I got these sterling silver, very modern looking dangle earrings. They are sterling silver, they're just marked uh, 95. The stones, I don't know if you can see them very well, but they are moonstones. So I paid up on these, I paid $20 for these, but the moonstones are very desirable. And I got this little Native American sterling silver and turquoise ring for $10. And this, I believe I paid a dollar for this. I was kind of hoping it might be silver. It looks like it's artisan made, but I tested it and it's not. But I think it, that it's silver plate. But for a dollar, it's kind of a cool ring. It's nicely done. And then, um, so the rest of this jewelry I got at my, it's where my mother-in-law lives. They have a monthly rummage sale. And they have uh, sometimes very, very nice things. And they're usually quite high priced. And so I really paid a lot for this stuff. And it's not that I can't make a profit on it. I can. It's just that it's not the usual margin I'm looking for. But I do it anyway because it's nice stuff. Uh, this is a pair of sterling silver and onyx Native American bear paw earrings. They are post earrings. And I paid uh, $7 for those, so that's not too bad. And I paid $8 for this cloisonne uh, dragonfly. It's not silver, but it's marked um, the Bishop museum which I believe is in Hawaii and I saw someone listing this identical brooch on Etsy for $250 however I'm distrustful because I didn't see any others anywhere I just didn't see any I, I don't know why it would command such a high price but I'm gonna have to look into it to make sure that uh, I get a good value but I just thought you know, the enamel work was gorgeous, and it was just a nice piece, and people like bugs, so I paid $8 for that if I didn't tell you. And these are gold. They are, I think they're, yeah, they're 10 karat gold, but these are Black Hills gold, which is uh, made in the Black Hills of North Dakota, I think. And it's a very specific style of jewelry. It has three different colors of gold. There's green, rose gold, and yellow gold. 
and also it has a specific uh, theme to it, which is grape leaves, grapes, grape vines. And there's a whole big legend that goes with Black Hills Gold. I think I've talked about it on a video before. Um, but it is collectible, and these are they're just little post earrings, and I pay 25 for these, and I think I can probably sell them for 50 to 65, somewhere in there. Probably closer to 50, I think. And then I got this necklace, which I just love. And this is jade. It's um, celadon jade, that nice light, light color they call celadon. And uh, it's got this gold overlay, which it's probably not real gold, but it sure looks nice. Whatever it is, it's beautifully done. And I paid $18 for that. And then I got this turtle. And he is made of 800 silver. So um, that's a good indication that it's older. Uh, probably European made. It is uh, with a gold wash on it. It's canateal or wire work construction and then it has enamel. It's just a very attractive piece. I paid ten dollars for that. I probably get, I don't know, twenty-five maybe for it. And the last piece, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done, but it is a gold, a ten karat gold class ring from nineteen forty four. Uh it is R C, I'm guessing that is some college. Um, the stone, I believe, is carved agate. It's kind of a, uh, what do you call it, signet ring. It's got a shield carved into it. It's, you know, it's just very pretty. And, yes, I paid $65 for that. That was ridiculous. Um, I mean, I know I can get more than that. I can probably get 125 for it, maybe. Uh, and if I can turn it over quickly, then that would be great. So that is all of the jewelry, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff from the flea market. Oops. I got this nice Art Deco wooden frame. You can see that it's old by looking at the back. The baby picture is a bonus, and uh, hey, I want to say five dollars for that. I, haven't, I forgot to look at my list, so I'm going to be guessing at some of the prices I paid for these things. This is a very interesting. These shoes it took me a while to find them, figure out what they are, but these are Turkish bath shoes, so you're you can walk through damp areas and not get your feet wet, and they are made with. Can of teal construction. The, again, the uh, wire work. It's not silver. I wish it was. It's got. It's very pretty. I paid ten dollars for those, and um, I haven't really finished researching those. But I will do fine. I will do very well on those. And another lacquer box. I just can't resist these when I find them. This one has a very nice raised bamboo pattern. It's a little bit distressed on the inside. But anyway, I paid five dollars for that. I got a pewter picture frame. I just like to pick up nice picture frames when I can. They sell pretty well and um, I think I paid either one or two dollars for this. It is missing the glass. Got a brass door knocker. It's got a little bit of oxidation on it. I'm hopeful that I can remove that. And that was five dollars. These uh, seem to do pretty well too. I could probably get at least maybe fifty for that. Maybe more. I'll have to, I can't remember. And this is a hand-painted Pennsylvania Dutch-style 
scoop, probably a grain scoop. I have every belief that it's old. Just could could do quite well. I paid ten. Oh, I've forgotten what I paid for this. I think I paid ten dollars for it. Bought it from the same person I bought the bath shoes from. And then the last thing I bought, and this is probably my bonehead purchase. I, I don't think this is going to work out very well for me. But you got to try new things sometimes. This, as you can see, is a lovely box. It, I believe it's mahogany. In fact, I'm positive it's mahogany. And inside is a very old marine compass. And it's really a mess. But I was thinking, oh, it's old, it's genuine, it still works. It's in its original box. How can you lose? I paid 60 no, I paid uh, $50 for it. And I don't think they sell for a whole lot more than that. I was just really surprised because I sold a little one, you know, one that was like this big, that I think was a replica for a lot. But for whatever reason, um, I don't know why they don't sell for more. Again, I'm going to have to do a little more research. I am going to do my best to clean this up. I mean, it's got dead bugs and cobwebs in the box. And still, I just think it's really neat. I mean, look at this box. It's got the nice dovetail corners. Probably somebody left their cigarette on it and burned it. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that trying to uh, get out of my comfort zone and buy higher priced things. I'm figuring on average it's got to work out for me. Uh, okay, and then at my mother-in-law's rummage sale, I bought three other items. I bought this brass helicopter. I paid $5 for that. It's uh, 1970s. And I see, I found a lot of these online. They seem to sell around $25. And I got a Sterling Silver Spoon for a dollar. It is um, Wallace Sterling. It's a really pretty ornate pattern. And it's got <laughs> kind of a mess there, but I think I can clean that out. And the last thing, oh my god, is a frog cast iron doorstop. This thing weighs, I don't know how much it weighs, it is so heavy. It's not marked. I don't know how old it is, but I've found several of these online that sell pretty well. Um, I think I paid five dollars. Did I pay five dollars? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, my mother-in-law gave this to me. She bought it at the sale and decided she wanted to give it to me. So I guess I didn't pay anything for it. And uh, I don't know how much he'll sell for, but he's cute. People like frogs. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I am going to try to be posting videos a little more regularly from now on. I'm going to try. Uh, and these items are, or soon will be, for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com or on eBay where my username is Carol Linux. And I will put the links down below. I hope everybody's having a good day. We'll see you again soon. Bye.